Mary, where are we today? And what is that? Hell onsen Hell, literally H E L L, whole and hell onsen tour because all of the onsens or hot springs are so hot, right? It's over like 90 degrees Celsius. Yeah, so we can't go in, huh? Alright, well, let's do it. Alright, so we're in the entrance already. And this is Yaku 98 degrees, so 98 degrees Celsius right here, right there. This, I guess, inside of there somewhere. Like what does it smell like? Eggs? Or, or what did you say before it smells like? Fart. <laughs> We're in the onsen town of, in Oita Prefecture right now. If you guys didn't know, Oita Prefecture is literally like onsen or hot spring prefecture. Um, actually, we're right now in Jikokudani and at this place uh, produces the most hot spring water in the whole world. It's number one, literally. So that is pretty cool. We're gonna check it out and show you guys what it looks like. There's a lot of onsen hot springs here that you can't enter actually because the water is too hot, which is why it's called Jikokudani or hell place, basically. Let's take a tour in Jikokudani. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Millie, our first stop is where? Where are we? Umi Jikoku. Umi Yeah. What does that mean? Um, ocean hell. Ocean hell. And that surely looks like an ocean, doesn't it? Yeah. How much fun are you having? How, how cool is this place? 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, not 10 out of 10? Ah, uh, okay. What is that? It's some kind of stamp thing that you get in each places. So we're gonna stamp each onsen or hot spring we go to, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And we just went to this one. Let's do it. <laughs> Yo, look at Ben. <laughs> Yo, Ben, turn around. Ben, turn around. Ben, turn around. Never. Come on, Ben. Give me a turn around, Ben. Uh, we're gonna go into a hot spring for your feet. That looks awesome. Oh my gosh, this feels amazing. Mill, how does it feel? It's amazing. Yeah. Cash, how does it feel? It's really hot. Yeah. Feels good though, right? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. So this water is from the Umi Jikoku that we just saw. So feels good. amazing. All right, so we're off to the next one. What's it called? Onishibozu Jikoku. That sounds like a lot of words that I don't understand, yeah. but it's all good. Let's go. I don't even Dang, look at those manjus. Wow, so they literally steam this with the onsen steam. That is absolutely insane. It's called gokuraku manju, and gokuraku basically means heaven. How is it? Mm, it's better than I expected. It's pretty good. So what's inside? It's like red bean inside? Mm -hmm. And uh, what's on the outside? Like a mochi kind of thing? It's a bit drier than mochi, but it's some kind of dumpling. Oh, nice. How do you like it? It's so good. It's good, right? It's like better than usual Japanese snacks, which I like anyway. They're very soft. Yeah. Kind of nice. mm. Mm. What are we getting next? Jigoku pudding. So made with the steam from the hot spring, right? If you guys didn't know, soft greens are number one, but pudding's my number two. That is delicious. Mm. I like the caramel part. All right, here's a map of all of the different onsens, right? And we just started here, and then we're going to this one. On to the next one. All right, next one is literally Oniishi, which means what in English? Um, Devil Rock? Yes, that sounds very, very yeah, scary. Yeah, it looks like Devil's Head. Okay, well, let's go. Oh my gosh, that looks insane. When the wu kai get born, they like come out of there and go The dirt that's boiling right there looks like a monk's head And the rocks are called um, Devil Rock So this place's name is Devil Rock 
monk head hot spring. It says to be careful, do not stand inside of here. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear. <laughs> So I've been to like many onsen places or hot springs in all of Japan now um, but this one I think is definitely number one. It's like an amusement park for hot springs. Absolutely uh, incredible what you can see here. Where are we now? Yamajigoku. And what is that? Um, it's an animal park thing. Um. Basically animals uh, who would only live with the steam? Yeah. Was it? Or warm climate, I guess. For plants and animals. So on the sign, I saw we saw like hippos. Yeah. Right? I remember feeding the hippo when I was younger. Nice. Let's go. Yay. All right. If you pay 100 yen, you can get some what? Carrots? Some carrots. And you're going to feed the hippo. So let's feed the hippo. Feed the hippo. Yo, that thing is absolutely huge. Holy moly. Steam everywhere, definitely an onsen town. Kamado Jigoku. So Kamado Jigoku derives its name from the fact that it used to be used for cooking foods long long ago. The great red demon Akaoni standing on an enormous cooking pot is a symbol of the Jigoku. That's pretty crazy. Let's go. Wow, drink nomu onsen, so drinkable onsen water. Yeah. So what do you do? Um, I think you just drink it. But and it's 80 degrees? Are you going to be able to drink it? It's 80 degrees. I'm going to let it cool first. Okay. Hot. Hot. Okay. Drink it up, girl. I'm scared. Wait, why don't you touch it with your finger first? I did. Is it hot? I think it's fine. It's kind of salty. Dude, I got bone coming. <laughs> Celsius. That's not that hot, come on. But this is good for your skin and your throat. Oh, there you go. It tastes pretty bad. Oh, <laughs> it actually burns. This one actually changes colors. That is awesome. Changes from that blue over there to like that green down there. That's awesome. Halfway there. Oniyama Jigoku. This one is so steamy, you can't even see anything. So this place is called Oniyama the Devil Mountain and they started keeping the crocodiles in the onsen water over 90 years ago, first time in Japan. There's crocodiles in here. Oh my god. Yo, there's so many crocodiles in here. Baby crocodile. Whoa. Well, they have piranha fish here. They eat people, if you guys didn't know. They can eat you alive. Holy, in five minutes. They look so friendly though. Look at that. Oh my God. I always, th I always thought these were just in horror movies. Guess not. 
they can eat the huge cow in 15 minutes and 5 minutes for 2 minutes. 15 as in 1 5, yeah? Not 5 0, right? 1 5. 15. 15, right? Wow, that's insane. Similar to the crocodile place, they keep all the Amazon fish in here with the hunks and water. These are the Amazon version of koi fish. And then they are, they are the biggest um, river fish. And it also has it's the most delicious fish in the world. So this place, this water is originally transparent. But as it cools down naturally, the color of white appears. So Tatsumaki Jigoku, uh, the word geyser means a hot spring sprouting out boiling water and steam in intervals. This particular spa appears in the limelight among the world's geysers due to the short interval between spouts. So it's pretty uh, in a, a spectacular view to watch. So this Chinoike Jigoku is all red, even the steam is red and the clay of this, the red clay is used for some skin disease medicine. represents those hell onsen and usually only kids get this but you know for tourists so we got that All right guys, so that was Jigoku Dani, which is in Beppu. Oita Prefecture is very, very famous for hot springs or onsen, so it kind of makes sense that they have eight different types of these hell-like onsens or hot springs here in this prefecture. It was really, really fun, and I was super excited to visit all eight of them. It did take about like four or five hours for us to finish all of them, but they're really cool. Each of them have like its own distinct meaning to it, so make sure you get a pamphlet and read up about it, because the history behind it is very, very unique. Um, thanks to Millie over here for being a great supporter of this video. She was awesome. So leave a like and comment down below of how you like Millie. I will give her a thumbs up, maybe three. Also leave a comment about which one was your favorite hot spring. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And once again, this is Otago 47. We're up to to 047 Prefecture. So stay up to date because I'm vlogging every single day. And if you don't know what Otago is, it's a travel website that offers local and exclusive information all about Japan. So check the link in the description down below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's fun burn in the foot bath. Fun burn. But how's it feel? How's it feel? Um, just the same. Is he? Is he? Is he picking his ear? He's literally picking his ear. <laughs>